Okay, so I could not find any videos on how to do this or somebody doing this. So I'm going to make one so that it's out there on the YouTube sphere. Anyways, what we have here is a Vestec converter for traveling. Comes with little adapters and then a cable with a European style plug and three US plugs and what it does is it converts 90 volts to 100 and to 240 volts 50 or 60 Hertz to 100 to 120 volts AC 60 Hertz also has the USB ports but anyways I wanted to show y'all what the inside of it looked like um, for y'all's knowledge because certain converters actually only cut out one phase and so it makes it really hard on electronics whereas this one appears that it does not do that because it's got transformers built in all you do is you take out these little plugs that are in here and then you use a Phillips head screwdriver this is a number one Phillips and you just loosen the screws and you split the case and then as you can see inside there right there is a transformer and then right there is a transformer and then a circuit board and some capacitors and some other little stuff cooling fan for the circuitry and all that but basically this one and I mean correct me in the comments if I'm wrong but this one appears that it actually uses transformers to step down the voltage instead of just cutting out a phase um, and causing that hard bottom line um, not really a, a sine wave it's more of a positive 120 volt wave and then just zero voltage um, that some converters use um, diodes and stuff just to cut out that negative voltage phase whenever you're traveling overseas so anyways and then just to put it back together it's reverse but I just wanted to show you all what the inside of that looked like and then um, yeah I haven't seen any videos on this I haven't actually used this overseas yet uh, but I've used it here in the US and it seems to have worked out just fine um, it's got those three US ports to power things and then the USB ports for charging your mobile devices and stuff like that um, will note that it has a 200 watt capacity so you cannot um, you cannot plug in things into these power ports that require more than 200 watts. Also, if you have anything plugged into these, you cannot have all of these filled up and try and power something off of here because of just the way it's internally circuited. But anyways, I just wanted to show you all the inside of that for y'all's knowledge. Later.